Okay, in this video we're checking out the uh, SkyStars Mini Turbo S F4 flight stack and it's just the flight controller and 401 ec here. Um, 20 by 20 boards here f uh, for your micros of course. And the uh, EC has M2 holes. The flight controller has M2 holes as well with the uh, rubber grommets that are included. I think there's actually silicone grommets. We'll look at the uh, EC first here and the reason, actually I should tell you guys the reason why we're looking at this is a lot of you guys asked me to find an alternative to the very popular Diatone Mini Mamba stack for micros that's pretty similar to this one and I'll go over all the specs here in a second. Uh, that one, I think the Mini Mamba is running like around $40 and this one's running about $46, $47, it's a little bit more and it's also the same two boards here, very similar specs here. So let's just go over all that here. So we got the 4 one ec uh, it, uh, it's 20 amps, I think it bursts to 25, very similar to the Mamba Mini. Uh, it is also only D-Shot 600 capable, so it's a BL Heli S, not a 32-bit ESC. But here was a uh, closer look at the FETs there, if you guys want to uh, take a look at that, look that up on the internet. Pretty nice uh, board overall, looks like there's a little bit of a conformal coating on the ESC, it's kind of that shiny coating there. Should help in some minor splashes of water. You have solder pads on the sides here on the bottom and also on the top for your motor wires. And I believe I believe this is the bottom. This is where the battery lead is going to solder on. You have positive negative there. And that means it's probably forward this way here. And there's a little connector there, a little micro JSD connector that goes to um, the flight controller where then the wiring loom is also included here. You do also get here in the bag XD30. You get a little battery connector here for your XD30. You have to solder that on yourself. Some heat shrink. Yeah, a little uh, capacitor there. It's, uh, I think it's 25 volts and 470 microfarads to help clean up the um, video noise. And then you have some mounting screws here, some spacers, and there's actually some more over here. Came actually assembled partially in the little box that was included and that's everything that comes in the bag here and that's pretty much it for the 4-in-1 EC I think there's a little bit of it looks like it's a shunt there for current sensor I'm um, not 100% sure on that didn't remember seeing that in the specs though so uh, double check that later I'll leave a little note in the description if that's uh, if there is a current sensor or not it says here is the flight controller pretty compact just like the diatone uh, you got your usb port here boot button and all of your solder pads are a lot bigger than on the mom mini that's one of the biggest complaints about the um, diatone board is that all of the solder points are super tiny and here these look reasonably uh, good sized so up here you got your uh, tx3 your negative positive and voltage. I think this is going to be for your uh, video transmitter. And I believe this one over here is going to be for your camera. Yes, yeah, so this says right there uh, VTX. And then over here it says camera. So this is going to be some connections for your video transmitter and camera. So you have your UART connections here on the side. So you have a T3, R3, T1, R1, uh, T6, R5. And then here on the bottom, connections for your LED buzzer. And then down here is also connections for your receiver. And then you have some additional solder points on the other side. Uh, some of these are going to be solder bridges. So, for example, uh, voltage for the camera. You have to bridge the 2 on the left for 5 volts, 2 on the right for VBAT. And then for the video transmitter, uh, it's going to be 2 on the left for VBAT and two on the right for five volt and then over here on the bottom for your receiver you're going to solder the bridge the two and left for 3.3 volts for your receiver and bridge the two on the right for five volts and that's pretty much all the connections obviously f4 flight controller here uh, the the bc in here is a five volt two amp bc so it should be plenty for all of your devices got your osd chip there and the gyro is an MPU 6000, so this board is also, again, just like the Mama Mini, up to 8K, 8K on the uh, PID loop for the um, uh, this particular flight controller. 
Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Um, I'm going to put this into a pretty cool build, so stay tuned for that build pretty soon. Can't show you the frame or anything, it's still top secret. Uh, can't disclose that yet, but yeah, you should be seeing that probably within the next couple of weeks on my channel with this particular stack in there. And we'll see how this performs when compared to the Diatone Mama Mini. I suspect it's going to perform fairly similarly. It's got almost all the same exact specs as that stack. Anyway guys, that's going to do for this video, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.